Okay. For this next video, I'll be playing Super Mario 64. You know, I said every time after this, when Peach writes a letter to Mario, something bad happens. I mean, both of the Paper Marios, the first one and the second one, Paper Mario and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, Peach writes a letter to Mario, Mario comes to the castle, and something happens to Toadstool, and Mario has to save her. Second game where she calls herself Peach. Kyo, you've reached Princess Toastless Castle via warp pipe. Using the controller as a piece of cake, press A to jump and B to attack. Use the B to read signs to use the control stick in the center of the control to move Mario around and head to the castle. I'm playing this on the Wii, so it's a little different. I have two control sticks and I'm using the classic controller. So, I'm going to the castle. Get my cake. And the Larka 2s appear and just tell me how to use the controller by using the C stick basically. Run the castle. You don't have to press anything though, the castle just run. Welcome. No one's home now, Scram. Don't come back. Ha ha ha. Yeah, Bowser's here. But Mara doesn't know that. Because he's an idiot. Luigi would have figured that out before he even came. Mario's not that smart. So, I can go to the basement, but not really. Toad can tell me what I should do first. But I'm supposed to go in this room and jump into this painting of the bombs. And of course, one. The big bomb in the sun. The game tells me the controls again, and I can talk to the pink bombs if I need some help, but I don't need any help. Here's the basic Goombas. Easy, you either jump on them, or attack them by punching them. And they sneeze when they explode for some reason. Collect coins to recover health. But for the most part, you're supposed to go along this path. Across cross this bridge, be careful because it dips and turns. Walk through this gap in the cage. You walk along here or go all up that hill over there. You can't climb up this white hill. If you go down it, you won't be able to get back up. So just go along around this path. Pretty easy to get across. You can either jump that gap or go across the board. It's not like you have a tile or anything. Run through this hard if you're hurt. The faster you run through it, the more health you recover. And it doesn't disappear, so it should just recover all the health. When you get to the top, you top to the big ball. And you're telling me to pick them up from behind and throw them to the ground. That means I have to throw them on this ground. If I throw them off, they'll jump back up and say, you must fight with honor. It's against the rules to throw the king out of the way. And the battle starts over. So even if you hurt him once or twice, he'll be full health. So you gotta throw him to the turf. <coughs> and... You gotta wait for him to walk towards you a bit before you pick him up and throw him. Because if I try to grab him now, he's way too fast. You can never get behind him. So wait for him to move a bit, then get behind him. He'll turn slower then. And then press the B button to pick him up and throw him. Then he'll think you need to be faster to be Bowser, and if you want to see me again, choose the star from the menu. 
So you collect your first power star. The game tells you there are two more doors you can open, but I'm gonna go back here. You can open the Peach Princess Peaches door and throw for Quirtia too. So there's a second star in here called Foot Race with Goop the Quick. There's no point in talking to the bombs yet because you can't really use them. Um, and they talk to Goop with a slop. He wants to raise me to the top where the King Bomb was. You should take any path you want. As long as you don't use the cannons. You can open the cannons by talking to the red bomb, but you can't use them or he'll say you're cheating. When he gets to this bridge, he changes the path. Instead of going up where I'm going, he'll go up that white mountain. Since you can't climb up it, you might as well go this way. There are three big marbles here now. Koopa the Quick is fairly slow this time in racing. But the rematch is kind of difficult. If you use cannons, he'll say you cheat, but you can use this special teleport here to teleport up here, and he won't know that you're cheating. Even though he's easy enough to beat without knowing that. When you reach the flag, you just wait. Climb around on the flag if you want. waiting for him to get here. There are six stars in each level and one and well the seven stars in each level. Six ones are named and the seventh one is a hundred coin star. And there are fifteen levels and fifteen castle secret stars. <clears throat> Koopa the Slow gives me a star for beating his ass in a race. Go back for the third star. Third star is entitled Shoot to the Island in the Sky. First talk to this bomb. The talk for a bit, then it'll open all the cannons in the stage. Since you have to shoot to the island in the sky, you need to use the cannons. This cannon will not help you. But there's the island in the sky, right there. To get them, I gotta use the... Well, you don't have to use this cannon, but it's the easiest one to use. The one that's partially up the mountain. You can use the teleport if you want, or you can just keep on climbing. This is the cannon you want. I just hold down, tame the cannon straight up as high as it'll go, and fire. So mine will land on the very edge of this island. And open this box, and there's the star. will tell me there's two other doors I can open and I'll stop the video here and when we come back we're taking on the four star bomb battle wheel see ya